Hey guys, Robbie Richards here. In today's short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use BuzzSumo and BuzzStream to get social media shares and lots of them. So there are many ways you can use both of these tools to uh, promote your content and build links. But today I'm just going to show you how to find people who have already shared content similar to that of which you have already written. Now the logic behind this is that people who have already shared content similar to what you've written are probably going to, or are definitely going to be much more likely to share the content that you have written because they've done it in the past. So anyway, jumping in, uh, as we can see here, last year I published a post called 13 Killer Link Building Strategies. It's got 66 comments, but it also got almost 3,000 shares, 1,100 of which have come through Twitter. Now this is pretty good, but the other day I was thinking to myself, I'd really like to breathe some, some new life into this because I think it's still got a lot of potential. The strategies in here are still very relevant and I just, yeah, I want to give it some extra legs. So one of the ways that we can do that is to use BuzzSumo. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with BuzzSumo, awesome, awesome tool. This tool allows you to essentially find, among many other things, it allows you to find content related to different keywords, topics, and domains that is currently trending or receiving a lot of social engagement. Now, as an example, I could come in here and since I want to promote my uh, my last link building post, I would type in link building strategies. Press search. And then what that will do is it'll give me a list of all of the posts or link building posts that have generated a ton of social engagement. Now, as you can see here, each post uh, the share count is broken down by different channels. Now, as I scroll through here, I might be interested in uh, finding out the people who have shared this post by ProBlogger. It's got 1,200 shares, 560 of which have come through Twitter. So in order to unearth the people that have shared this post, I would just click View Sharers. As that loads, and then boom, I have a long list of very, very influential people that I can start to outreach to. Now these people have already shared this link building post, so as long as you've promoted something that's pretty awesome, which, you know, this post that I wrote is a 6,000 word link building tutorial, which, you know, I think delivers a lot of value. So, as we scroll through the list of people here, we'll see Jeff Bullers, Darren Rouse, John Morrow, obviously big names in the internet marketing space. These people have tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of followers. Another interesting metric that you might want to look at is the reply ratio. If you look at this, it can you know, give you some great insight into the likelihood that these people will actually reply, reply to you if you reach out to them on Twitter. Higher percentage, more likely. So how do we use this with BuzzStream? Well, let's have a look. So BuzzStream is an awesome tool. Um, you know, I've used awesome a lot, but both of these tools are kick-ass. This tool here, it allows you to build uh, link building and content promotion outreach campaigns. Very, very powerful. There are many different ways that you can use this tool to generate a lot of traffic and build a lot of quality links. But to, for today's example, I'm just gonna show you how we can build a simple outreach campaign uh, and identify people to, who have shared content similar to what we've written in the past. So once you create a BuzzStream account, uh, you can create a project. In this case, I created a link building strategies project. Now, don't worry, uh, I'll be releasing some tutorials in the near future that will go into far more depth, uh, showing how you can use BuzzStream and BuzzSumo together to you know, use strategies and tactics to generate traffic and build links. But for now, we will just head back over to BuzzSumo. And once uh, one other thing too that you'll need to do is go into the Chrome store and install the BuzzMarker Chrome extension. It's completely free. And then that will allow you to come back over to BuzzSumo, right click, and you'll see BuzzStream BuzzMarker. You'll just wanna click that and then create a prospecting list. And then on the right hand side of the list, it will populate a list of all of the websites associated with each of the people on the BuzzSumo list, or the people who have shared that content. Now, as you can see, some of these aren't relevant, like ProBlogger, that's the actual site that published the post, so we would wanna clean that. So if, you know, first you just wanna go through and clean out any of the sites that you don't think are going to be applicable. Obviously, LinkedIn, Template Pro, these fancy websites, these are all sites that we're probably not gonna to wanna to reach out to, but 
you'll see that there'll be a lot of faces popping up in here that we will want to reach out to. So we'll just click Start Prospecting. We'll wait for that to load quickly. And then here we go, populating in the browser, we'll see the websites associated with each of the people that viewed the ProBlogger post. Now, I've already added Jeff Bullis to my link building uh, project, but to give you an idea of what it would look like if I hadn't already done that, you would see something like this. The website, you would have to name the website name, the website type, you can even add in a tag and that'll allow you to filter your lists later on in Buzzstream. Uh, and then you'll have email, Facebook, Twitter, and contact page and some other information. You can add in a lot here, but you really wanna make sure you're filling these in as much as possible because this data will be uh, pulled into the outreach templates that we build here in a minute. So we would just save him and then we would click on to the next website and then this will pull up Boost Blog Traffic. This is John Morrow's site. Really, really uh, good content on here if you haven't already checked it out. Uh, and then same thing, we would just fill out the information for this website and we would go through the list. And then in order to scale this, we could go through a bunch of the different uh, lists that showed up where we enter link building strategies and just create prospecting lists off of all of the shares for the different posts. But for this case, we'll just head back over now that we've created our little outreach list. So as an example, we've got 19 websites in here. We want to click people and this will pull up a list of all of the all of the outreach prospects that we added to our list. And you can see here we've got Adam Smith, Doobie Bassino, Jeff Bullis, John Morrow, Steve Farnsworth, all very influential people in the space. People that we definitely want to reach out to and see if we can get them to share our content with their audience. So the next step that we all want to do is create an outreach template. So I've already created one, so let's take a look at what that looks like. So here's the an example. Once again, very sh very small list. I just wanted to create it as an, exa uh, as an example. So I sent out 15 emails, I got two replies. That's 13%, typically anything over 10%, and I'm pretty happy with that. So let's have a look at the actual copy. Now, just before we start in, you'll see here first name, first name. Uh, these are merge fields that I can pull, I can simply drag and drop into the template. Uh, this pulls the data from the prospecting list information that we populate when we're creating our prospecting list. So you'll see, hey, first name, you encourage me to write this blog post. A few months ago, I stumbled across this link building article on Twitter. Insert the link to the URL. A few solid strategies. I thought I would make it better. Here's a link to my post. Got a ton of shares. I'd be tickled pink if you'd uh, share it on social media too. Uh, thanks again for the great content. So very simple outreach template. Um, so I would come back over here, I would select all of the people on my list, and then I would click Start Outreach, Start Outreach here, and then it'll bring up the name of the first person, and as you can see, it has automatically pulled in their first name using the merge fields that we had in our template. Now you can do this with a variety of them, last name, URLs, you can even make your own custom uh, merge fields to include. But for this example, we've just got first name and then I would just go send and go to next contact. And I would do that until the whole list uh, I had sent it out to. Very quick, very easy way to scale the outreach. So to give you some insight here, I will pull up Doobie Vecino. She's one of the ladies who replied to me. And as you can see here, thanks Robbie, looks, looks good, well researched. I shared it on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Awesome, love it. Another one, Ian Campbell. Now, this one's a little bit different. Not only did he share it, but he also wanted me to send a menu of costs for SEO work. So I sent 15 emails, got two responses, and a business lead, potential business lead. So yeah, that's pretty good stuff. Uh, so we will head back over here now, and then I just wanna show you too on Twitter, if we look up one of the people who responded to my outreach. I could type in Doobie Vecino. And then look here, 72,800 followers. As you can see, these are the people that 
we really want sharing our content. Not only can it get a lot of extra fresh uh, new eyeballs on our content, but it's likely going to generate some retweets, some favorites, some of that good old social engagement that we have seen over here. So very, very effective strategy uh, when we're trying to you know, find people to outreach to who are more likely to share our content. So once again, that's just a quick tip that uh, and way that I use the tools together to outreach and generate social engagement. In the near future, I will be releasing a few more tutorials that will go into much, much greater detail about how we can use these tools to generate traffic and build quality links. Until next time, talk to you soon.